Hello, and welcome to the Canopy Quick Start. In this video, we'll look at the typical steps in creating a project. In Canopy, we have two basic concepts of a project and a configuration that control all of the work that we do in Canopy. The project is the definition of our hardware setup. That might include vector VN network interfaces connected to our ECU or to a vehicle bus, it might be a Vector VX1000 high-speed ECU memory interface connected to our ECU or connected to an ADAS sensor such as a radar. It might be analog measurement equipment such as measurement modules provided by our partners at CSM. Or it might be audio, visual, and GPS input including reference cameras. All of our hardware setup is captured in a Canopy.ini file. But in all of this hardware setup, nowhere have we told Canopy what we need to accomplish to get our jobs done. That's what's defined in the configuration. The configuration is our application setup. The application setup includes windows to calibrate our ECU, windows to measure data, recorders to save the measurement data to log files, windows to analyze the data, and scripts and functions to run tests. The application setup is saved in a .cna file. In this example, we'll call our configuration myconfig.cna. To get started, we'll need to do a little bit of preparation, and this means considering the hardware that we're going to be interfacing with. To start with, we'll have a Vector VN 1610 CAN interface plugged into the USB port on our PC and connected to channel 1 on the VN 1610 will be a 500k CAN bus. Let's look at how we set up this CAN bus channel in the Vector Hardware Manager. To set up our CAN channel, we'll use the Vector Hardware Manager utility. The Vector Hardware Manager utility installs with the Vector Hardware drivers. Please be sure to update to the latest drivers before creating a new project. In the Hardware Manager utility, make sure the mode switch is set to the wrench, which is Configuration Mode, and click on Application Channels Configuration. Then be sure you've clicked on the Canopy tab on the ribbon, and here we can see our VN 1610 is plugged into our PC, so the Hardware Manager utility can see it, and all we have to do is take Channel 1 from our VN 1610 and drag it onto our Canopy CAN channels and now our VN 1610 hardware channel 1 is mapped to Canopy logical CAN channel 1. Once we have our mapping in place we're ready to deploy it to the hardware. Push the deploy button and we can see that the configuration has been successfully deployed. Push OK and we're ready to go. Now that we have our hardware channel set up, we're ready to consider the rest of the system. We'll communicate with our ECU using the XCP protocol, and in order to do that, we'll need an A2L file. In this case, myecu.a2l is the database we need to decode the memory inside of the ECU. But the CAN bus is also connected to other ECUs in the vehicle. These ECUs all talk to each other through the course of normal operation, and we'll want to be able to decode those messages going back and forth on the CAN bus between the ECUs. To do that, we'll need a DBC file, and here we have a mycan.dbc database that can decode those messages. These databases will become devices in our Canopy project. The myecu.a2l database will become the myecu XCP device in the project, and the mycan.dbc database will become the mycan CAN monitor device in the project. When we create our project, the Canopy INI file will come to represent this system layout. Our configuration will be empty for the purposes of this video. Let's go ahead and create the project. So here I've set up a folder called My Databases, and in that folder I have a copy of both of the databases that I need for my project, mycan.dbc 
and my ecu.a2l are both here and that's perfect because we're going to need both of those files in just a minute when we set up our Canopy project. When we start Canopy, it automatically opens to the project menu. To create a new project, select New. Canopy will ask us for the name of our project, and here we can enter My Project as our project name, and that will be the name of the project folder on our disk where we keep all of our project belongings. Click Next, and Canopy will ask us where we want to put the My Project project folder, and by default, Canopy puts it in the installation area. I prefer to just put it on my desktop, so I use the Browse button, and I pick Desktop and select Folder. And now My Project will be sitting on my desktop. Click Next and Finish. And Canopy creates the new project and opens it. And in the lower right corner, we can see the name My Project. And if we right click, we can pick Open Project Directory. And Canopy will open Windows Explorer onto our project folder. And there we can see Canopy has already created an initial Canopy.ini file. In the project folder, we can paste the databases we gathered up in our My Databases folder a minute ago, and now we're ready for Canopy to create devices. To create our first device, we must go to the Devices tab on the ribbon and pick New from Database. We can pick the MyCAN DVC database to create our CAN monitor device. Click on that and pick Open. And Canopy will recognize that this is a CAN monitor device on a CAN channel. And now we have to select the CAN channel we want to use. And that will be Logical CAN Channel 1, which is connected to Hardware Channel 1 on our VN1610, as we did in the Hardware Manager just a moment ago. We hit OK. And the device is created. And we get a confirmation dialog. Close that. And now we want to create our ECU device. So again, we'll pick New from Database. And this time we'll pick the A2L file. Click Open. And we accept the defaults, which include the same CAN channel as the CAN monitor. That's perfect. Accept the defaults. And we get our confirmation dialog that we have created the device. We can now see our two devices are in the Devices folder in our project, the MyCAN CAN Monitor device and the MyECU XCP device, and both of them have a green check mark next to them, meaning that the devices are online. And if we go down to the lower right corner, we can see that, in fact, the devices are online. And that means, in the background, Canopy has gone out and communicated over the CAN channel to the ECU and is monitoring data on the CAN bus and we're fully connected. So we've created our project, we've created our devices within the project based on our databases, and now it's time to save the project. We can use the Save icon. Canopy wants us to name our configuration. As we discussed before, we'll call this myconfig.cna. Hit Save, and then hit Yes to save the complete project in configuration. 